Can we start with, um, um, I'm sorry, but team news every week for you is going to be very difficult until the transfer window closes. Uh, I appreciate you had 17 players out for one reason or another last week. Can I just give you, fire off, say, seven or eight names at you and ask you if any of these players have any chance of, of being involved at Sheffield Wednesday this weekend? So, Deeney, just you can give me just a straight yes or no if you like. Deeney, any chance of being involved? No, in this moment, no. Thank you. Uh, Delofeo? No. Capu? Which one? Which one? Etienne Capu. Capoue? No. Uh, Will Hughes? No. We're doing well here. Um, Luis Suarez? With him, his uh, situation is uh, different because uh, he stayed uh, one period uh, out of the squad. Now he start to, to join us and uh, we'll take a decision tomorrow about him. Um, and just three more. Uh, Andre Gray? Andre Gray is still uh, out uh, after injury. What he, what he get a uh, hamstring, yes, and he's not available for the game. OK, and two more. Uh, Dawson, Craig Dawson? Yes, Craig Dawson is okay. He's worked with us in the last two, three days. That means he will be available for the for the game. Thank you. And last one, uh, Ismail Sar. It's uh, Ismail Sar. He's worked with us, and uh, now we try to improve his uh, physical condition, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen if he will be with us uh, tomorrow or not. We'll take the decision. To Thank you for going through that register. Um, in your first two games, uh, Watford has shown a great resilience to get a win against Middlesbrough last week and then at Oxford obviously thanks to in no small measure to Bachman the goalkeeper but you've shown resilience in your first two games haven't you is that is that a good snapshot of what you are about as a coach yes in this period in this moment uh, we are not uh, we are not complete uh, the squad we are not complete the 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 way how we want to play, uh, for sure we have a lot of things to improve and I said and after the first hour game this, normally I have to repeat uh, and after the second game, uh, we have to work a lot to, to improve some, uh, some position in our uh, defence and uh, some movement in our attack. That means to, game by game we want to improve it and uh, we know that we are uh, the team who who has a lot of new players, uh, a lot of players uh, who joined us uh, this summer, a lot of players who joined us in the last two weeks and started the preseason two weeks ago. That means they are not in the they are not in the best performance now, but uh, I hope that uh, we'll fix it in the next uh, next days, next weeks, and uh, we'll come in the level where we want to be. Would it be for the last one from me? Would it be fair to say? that the one thing you want more than anything from your players is that they must be 100% committed to Watford, that they must be, their commitment to the cause must be absolute. Yes, exactly like this, how you said now. I said this a lot of times in the previous conference, that uh, for me it's important uh, to have the one group of the player who will be focused on our job and who will enjoy it. Uh, to be uh, in the Watford FC. Uh, that means to, when I said enjoy, the, I mean that uh, they need to give their maximum every day, they need to be with their mind here with us and they need to fight for the club. Thank you very much. We've just been interviewing Jeremy, J Jeremy um, just a few moments ago. I just wonder if you just tell us a little bit about him. What, what have you made of his performances so far and uh, what sort of potential do you think he has? Jeremy is one of the player uh, who is uh, work with us from the first day, and uh, he is the guy who who did all the all the practice until now. That means to it's one of group of the player who who is past this uh, one one month of the preseason, and uh, he showed me that he's uh, first of all uh, have a good 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 potential to be one uh, one good player. He work hard. He's the guy who, who asks every day to stay more and more. And it's very important for the young guy who, that have this uh, 
this mind and uh, this capacity to understand that just with uh, work he can improve himself and he can improve and uh, his game and um, I'm satisfied with him he need to work he has a lot of things to improve and uh, normally he's on the good way he's on the good uh, good uh, mentally way to, to, to understand the, the, the his position and the way how how we want to play the uh, to need to work on the and and the front and the back uh, in defense and uh, day by day he improve himself yeah, well that's that's all I wanted to ask thank you very much hello Vladimir um, I just wanted to ask you about something that I didn't ask you about on uh, Tuesday evening when Nathaniel Shalabar um, went off at half time was that something that you made as a, as a tactical decision or was it something that was something that you'd organized already before the game that you were only going to play 45 minutes no i i take decision before the game that he will play 45 minutes it was decision it was decision from the beginning because uh, shalova is the guy who who missed a big part of the of the of the preseason and he's played the uh, last friendly game against sports and the uh, first uh, official game he's played all the game and uh, i believe that he needed time and games uh, to improve his physical uh, potential that mean to it was uh, concept of the game and we are decide from the beginning that he will be the guy who will play 45 minutes how much um, of a help is it now that you've got your your recognized staff alongside you is it, is it nice to be able to have your your friends and your colleagues with you in, in Milos and, and Peter now by your side Yes, uh, we are together, and normally for <laughs> for me it's important to have my uh, my team close to me to work together. Mm. First uh, first weeks uh, it was difficult. It was uh, when you are alone and you don't have help from the guys who work with you. It's uh, normally not for me. For everyone, it's uh, totally different. But uh, okay. And when they they stayed in the first uh, first period uh, of the preseason in the in the Serbia, now in this technology they they watch every practice uh, and uh, we are work together. Uh, they couldn't be with me, but uh, we work together day by day. And now they are with me, and that it's totally totally different. And just one other final question: in terms of um, there was one other player that Mike. Mike went through <laughs> went through that long list, but I just wanted to check: is Danny Welbeck available, or is he still outside of the group? He's still outside of the group because he still tried to fix his uh, problem, and uh, we'll see. I said a lot of times that I uh, uh, don't have uh, any problem with no one. Uh, for me, it's uh, good to have uh, uh, players who want to be with us and who want to to play for the Watford FC. All of the players who is uh, under the contract uh, and who want to 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 be part of the team, who play in the championship, uh, is a welcome in uh, in my team. That means to it depends on them. Uh, and in yeah. terms of your um, your striking options, I know you mentioned that maybe Luis Suarez might be involved. How, what sort of dynamic do you like up up front? Do you like a, a technical number ten and maybe a a bigger central striker or? you like two mobile strikers what's what's your preference uh, for one coach is a good to have the different kind of the strikers and in this moment we have different kind of the strikers uh, we have uh, two guys like uh, uh, Glenn Mare and uh, like uh, Stipe Perica who is a uh, tall guys and uh, who is dominant on the air we have uh, other two players other type uh, like uh, like Andre Gray uh, and uh, like uh, Luis Suarez who is a uh, fast player who is uh, Good in the game, one against one, who know to score, and uh, the first two the same. They know to score. That means to you know, it's uh, we have João Pedro, who is young one, who is potential guy, who can play this position. Maybe his natural position is like winger, but he can uh, do it and like striker or second striker. And uh, sometimes we use in this position and uh, Domingo Kina, uh, who is a fast guy, with good technique and. Uh, uh, I believe in this moment, in this position, uh, we don't have a problem. Normally, we waiting and for the Troy to be with us to see when he will be available to 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 participate with the practice and start to work with us. And uh, after that, it depends of his uh, uh, physical condition. 
uh, how he will improve day by day when uh, we will start to use him. And to, uh, this, uh, this squad, of, if we speak now about the strikers, we have a solution, we have a players there. And uh, in this moment, we don't think about uh, this position when we speak about the player who will join us. And, and there's still uh, just over two weeks to go until the end of the transfer window. So you're confident um, you will um, be, you have enough time to get the players in? Yeah. Um, I have to work with the guys what I have here now and uh, I give my best uh, with, the, with the players day by day. Uh, we try to, to do our job and uh, if you ask me now about the players uh, who will come, I give you the answer that we are working on this, uh, that we, we need some position and we need for sure, if you ask me, three, four players who will uh, join us and who will uh, improve our squad and uh, make our score stronger. Stop. Don't go anywhere. Click here for more videos.